Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here and uh, welcome to another update of Windows 11. This is the new build, build 20,000.100 and we got some new changes and new features to it. So first of all, if you guys want to read uh, all the changes, all the fixes that they have done in this build, then I will put link in the description for this official blog post for this build. So yeah, you can go here and uh, see all the changes and all the new features, what they have added, okay? So yeah, let's get into what's new in this build. So uh, basically this time in this build, they have focused on taskbar and notifications only. So it's pretty cool actually. So first, a big, big change is in hidden system tray. So if you click on that icon, uh, you will see there is rounded corners, plus uh, it's not attached to the taskbar anymore. Uh, there is a space in between. So it's detached from the taskbar, plus it's rounded now. It has the rounded corners. So I like it looks very cool so this is the first big change in this build and uh, you will notice that icons uh, specifically the keyboard icon is now small tiny uh, it used to be huge uh, before this update now it matches with the other icons it's very small and i have been using this keyboard shortcut to access uh, you know all the things uh, emojis and uh, this what do you call it gif jeff <laughs> so yeah uh, it's pretty cool they have made this icon look similar to other it now matches with the other icons very nice and another change is in notifications so when there is a notifications in your notification panel you will see a focus assist settings uh, but if you clear all of that, the focus assist settings will be gone as well with the notification that you got. And another change right here in notification panel is, you know, when we click here in the time and date, we get the notifications plus our calendar. Uh, now it's collapsible. We can collapse this by clicking on this icon and now it, it is tiny so you can make more room for the notifications if you get lots of notifications obviously you want to get some room so yeah it's here now very cool <laughs> so another change is uh, it's not a change actually it's a new feature chat uh, some people as they mentioned in their website i think yeah uh, at the top they mentioned here we have started rolling out the chat from microsoft team to insiders but not everyone will see it right away so maybe you will see it maybe not but i saw it and uh, i have this and i can sign in and use the microsoft teams chat feature All right this is a new feature added and there is another thing uh, in the taskbar there is this if any application needs your attention uh, application is trying to reach to you or basically maybe there is an important task going on with the application it will have this effect so i tried to download a file and then like minimized it anything didn't happen so i don't know what specifically uh, how do you get this thing to work but let me show you so uh, if there is you know any application which is trying to uh, get your attention uh, this is it's this is how it's gonna look like now so yeah pretty cool I, I didn't get how to get it to work with the application but yeah uh, that's the thing here and the final uh, feature what they have added is in the Microsoft Store. If you open the Microsoft Store, it looks the same. But uh, when you click on any of the application that you want to download, there is an animation. It goes like that. <laughs> so you get the idea, right? So when you click on it, it goes whoosh. Uh, there is a 
subtle animation and uh, uh, by this animation uh, we should feel like the Microsoft Store faster but if we go back uh, there is no animation actually <laughs> very sad Microsoft come on backward also needs animation it's there is no animation but if you click on the application that you want to download yeah uh, it has animation I like it and there is a TikTok it's not the Android TikTok it's a web version of the TikTok I think yeah still waiting for the Android apps support in uh, Windows 11 uh, yeah but for this build that's all so yeah uh, that's it for this build and I will put link in the description for my website from there you will get this link from here you can read all the changes and also all the fixes they have done with this build all right so that's it hope you enjoyed it and just in case if you don't know how to get the windows 11 update or how to get the windows 11 iso file then i will also put link in the description for my videos that i made for those specific topic you can go there and watch those videos and have fun that's it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye